G'day fellas and welcome to my build order guide for Supreme Straight. When you are playing in the eco position, now keep in mind eco position is going to be this back one here in the back pocket. Uh, we've got another one that is the air position. I mean, these are these two are kind of interchangeable, but typically in your Supreme Straight games, you're only going to have one player going for big eco, at least with this build order. Uh, so I guess without further ado, let's dive into it and uh, and take a look at what we've got. So we're going to start off with three maxes, nice and simple. Ignore the solar collectors. I was putting them down, anticipating that our wind might be a little bit troublesome, but fortunately our wind was pretty good. So we go three maxes into three wind turbines. Now that's on the condition that wind doesn't stall. If wind stalls, if wind starts going low, you know, may maybe around your sevens, your sixes, whatever it is, uh, ideally you want to keep making wind turbines until you're up to 60 energy. Uh, and it can be tough, right? Because you might keep making wind turbines and your, your energy is uh, sitting down or your wind is sitting down at like two or three. And it's like, this is terrible, Drongo. What have you told me? Uh, but fortunately, the average wind speed is pretty high on this map, 14.2. Uh, so typically, you're going to be fine doing an opening like this. So then we're just going to keep adding in more uh, wind generators or wind turbines as they're, they're known. And then from here, we're going from uh, into two construction bots, following it up with three Lazarus. And we're going to make sure that we... Uh, we assist the construction bots as much as we can, wind permitting. Now, granted, we're not at max wind at this point. If we were at max wind, we would just be boosting these guys out and want to get them out onto the field as quickly as we can. We always want to make sure that we have as little energy as possible in these early games, but at the same time, we don't want to stall our construction. Uh, and so there, there becomes a very uh, delicate balance that you're going to have to do where you are moving your command. Now, the way I'm doing this is through using spacebar. So I use the spacebar, hold down the spacebar. You don't hold down shift and spacebar, just holding down shift. And that's going to allow you to turn around here, but continue that build queue going. So first is off, the first construct is off to build the mechs and then build eight wind turbines. After that, we're going to be throwing down our single construction turret here. Now, we're not going to be boosting it with the commander. We're going to be utilizing his uh, his build power as much as we can uh, to do building of... The, the, the key on this map is actually to use uh, energy converters. Energy converters are really strong on this map because with our wind uh, towards the mid game, we can mitigate a lot of the damage uh, that gets done early on by having a variable wind speed. Uh, by just having our Lazarus out. These guys do really well. Now, I've, I've made a very specific point here not to take the rocks, just simply because in other videos, I do recommend that people you know, closer to the middle take the rocks. Uh, so I don't want to, you know, I don't want to double dip and say, oh yeah, we, we can all take the rocks. No, no, no. Uh, so we're just going to be gathering up a little bit of energy over here, making sure that we start close to the base and then work our way out. Second Lazarus that comes out is going to begin eating our bot lab. And now our commander, after making, we can see how, how many we got here. We got a total of 14 wind turbines and our energy storage uh, is going to start making our um, our energy converters. And we want to make these away from our base because God forbid that uh, an air raid happens and they hit our energy converters. We want to make sure that when they go boom, they go boom by themselves. Uh, so now every everything is... is uh, on board or, or going to plan uh, after making our first uh, construction turret we then head over and make eight wind turbines uh, and we're going to send all of our Lazarus out just to go and collect energy we want to start by keeping them close to home because we are going to be needing to do quite a bit of reclaim here so don't send them out onto the front lines don't go down and grab the rocks here at, at most all we want is just the energy that is around our bases very very important so we've done our 14 wind turbines uh, we, we've done our six uh our uh, six energy converters. Now it's time to go boom, boom. Now, keep in mind that you're going to be using or making less wind turbines uh, in in this version of the build order compared to the glitters one, just simply because you're reliant more on the energy that the Lazarus is going to bring you in. I haven't done the math on these guys, but they seem pretty damn good uh, when, when you get a nice big energy field like this. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. And of course, we, we do throw down our advanced bot lab. We just want to make sure that before our commander goes boom, we're, we're using up all of our metal. Ideally, we want to make it so that our, our commander explodes. Uh, and we, just as we start re uh, picking up, reclaiming the, the metal, and you can see this is the nerfed commander 1250, uh, which is what everybody will be playing with now. Uh, we, we ideally want to be sitting at zero. So he's going to get eaten up. And now our total wind, wind turbine count is 24. We don't make any more than 24. We just leave it at 24. That's perfectly fine for what we're doing here. And I, I'll just pause it quickly to note. So you can see that wind speed is dropping, right? It's at 8.2, but still we're okay. What, what these energy converters are designed to do is that when wind kicks up to 19, it's to take advantage of that. And the reality is, is there are going to be games where you've got an 8.2 wind speed and it feels absolutely terrible and you, you're a little bit lower on metal as a result. But very rarely do you actually stall out when you've got this many Lazarus. This is probably an error that... Not probably. This is an error that I corrected from my earlier builds 
uh, on this map where there is such a, a plethora of energy. Plethora? Maybe an, an abundance of energy. Now, of course, the exact same way that we play uh, over on the Glitters build, we're going to be starting off by throwing down a metal storage and then starting to reclaim our bot lab immediately. We're going to let our bot lab do all the powering up for our construction bot. Uh, and only in the event that we start to stall out, we might need to stop. That's going to be the key here. And you can see that we are somewhat stalling out. And remember that this all comes down to wind. So th this is something that we can't control. Uh, if your wind is sitting at 19, these bad boys are going to be turned on. That's an extra six metal uh, coming through every second. And that that is enough to change whether you stall here or whether you don't stall here. But you will stall here if your energy is not uh, perfect, which sometimes it isn't. Uh, and we, we're going to call back our Lazarus here. You can see that we've got one Lazarus. The, the other two are still going to be gathering up that energy here. We only need the one. Uh, for this and we just want to make sure that our metal storage finishes uh, our construction bot finishes and then we can eat the lab straight away uh, and uh, you can see we're, we're just powering up that construction bot and now we're going to eat the lab immediately five minutes and 36 not a bad little timing here and straight away going into our nano so we want to make our four nanos i make a little bit of a mistake here i put this nano a little bit too far away uh from my third mech so we always want to make sure that our nano positioning every single one of them should be within the radius of all three of these metal extractors very key you don't want to go right in the middle you want to kind of anchor them towards your open side over towards here but ideally you want to hit every single one of those um so it, it just saves you a lot of trouble when uh when you start throwing these down and you might have a little bit of idle time and you can see right now that uh that we're, we're going to be throwing down our very first advanced metal extractor. Uh, meanwhile, we're leaving the Lazarus at home just because we are going to need to eat our metal storage very soon. Now, he could ideally come out over here and grab a little bit of uh, a little bit of energy on the downtime. Keep in mind that our other two are still out here. They have just they are, have got nice big routes, so they're going to be out there for a long time. In the event that your allies are eating the energy as well, just make sure that you put in lots of different routes uh, for that. And of course. Uh, we're just tapping the blueprints back at home, making sure that our construction bots uh, don't go from one to two, but rather go one to three. That way there's there's less distance there. And of course, we're going to be looking for our fusion power plant very, very soon. So once our uh, metal extractors have come up, we're going to be making sure our old man, our old gentleman, look at me go, he's so old, uh, moves into position. And we want to make sure that we make this clear from all of our intended uh, intended buildings that are going to be coming up. So what are we thinking about? We're thinking about our nanos, which we're, keep in mind, we're going to be going up to 16 nanos pretty soon. Uh, we're going to be going up, up for a fusion. So we want to make sure that we've got our space for that. And of course, we're going to be going for advanced energy converters. So we want to really be thinking about our base. So for me, I'm going to go advanced fusion, and then I'm going to go my advanced energy converters. And then of course, I'm going to be putting all of my, uh, my nanos along here. So now that your fusion is on the way up, uh, we are going to be throwing down our advanced metal extractor, our fourth one. We're going to waddle out here and we're going to throw it down. And this is where you've got a little bit, you've got to be a bit careful, right? Because it, it comes down to timing. So we've got 40 seconds left on this 38, 37, 36, 35, 34. We're 12 seconds in front of the fusion. If the fusion finishes before this, we're going to be in this awkward spot where we've got all of these nanos that aren't doing any nanolaving. At least that's what it used to be called back in T8. It was it would say unit nanolating. Uh, that, that, that's like the construction uh, of something. But essentially, they're sitting here idle. And we don't want that. We always want to be utilizing them and making sure that we're building something or reclaiming something. We want to be maximizing the efficiency with these. So what we're going to do is actually bring back a construction bot a little bit early, just because these guys do waddle very slowly. You can see we've got 10 seconds left on that, which means probably about 16, yeah, 16 seconds left on our fusion. And the idea is we want to get back here so that we can drop down all of our construction turrets. And then we're also, in addition to that, going to be throwing down a whole bunch of energy converters now keep in mind we're not going to be throwing down that advanced energy converter even though it might seem tempting to throw down an advanced energy converter after your fusion keep in mind the advanced energy con converter costs 380 metal it's a little bit more efficient but these bad boys only cost one metal a piece so we're just going to be throwing down lots of them and uh and you can see the old man just going to be standing by for the moment so we added in one nano just while we were waiting and now that we've got both of them back they're just going to be double tapping this now i i make a bit of a mistake here with my base building i'm kind of rushing it and i'm building these way too close to my nanos and that's a massive problem because if my air player decides that he doesn't want to play air or that he wants to go for a bit of a delayed air uh this makes me very susceptible to a bombing run also, also makes me very susceptible to like a couple of hovers getting by uh, because if one of these goes boom, it hits all of them and then it hits all my nanos and then all of my... It hits everything. So basically, we just want to make sure that we try and keep them as far away as possible. So now, now that we've got a total of 15 energy converters up, keep in mind because we do have our Lazarus out here on the field that are going to be 
bringing in. We've got all three of them out here now, but we're going to call them back in very, very soon because it's actually time to start reclaiming. Of course, we want to start reclaiming our wind turbines and we go up to a total of 10 construction turrets and everybody's helping out on the on the APHIS here. Now, keep in mind, uh, with 10 construction turrets, you should be able um, to take advantage of that and you, you shouldn't have any idle time you may need to take one of your construction turrets and start sucking up wind turbines. That's a perfectly normal thing to do. Uh, another thing to note is if you get to the end, because you can see right now we're using 73 metal, but we're only making 48. Uh, so if we do get to the end of our metal and we start running out, we've got no wind turbines left. Well, you know what gets eaten next? It's one of these bad boys, the construction turrets. Just keep in mind, they're, they're like 200 metal, right? And 200 metal is the, is like four seconds of difference. And if you've got your APHIS up four seconds faster, that means that everything else comes online four seconds faster. And these guys, they're, they're very easy to replace. So don't, don't, don't worry too much about eating them at all, especially when you're at these kind of numbers, 10, 10, 12, 20, 30. It's, it's very easy to just eat and, and forget. Uh, so we now start bringing in our Lazarus in and you can see that we're sucking up all of our windmills. And we're going to start moving our big boy into position because he needs to... I say our big boy, our old man. I got so many names for this guy. You know, this guy's a classic. If you ever played TA, you would remember just how iconic the advanced construction bot for the arm was. Core one was a little bit cooler. So I'd say he's less iconic for being so cool. Uh, definitely, we're, we're fans of people who aren't cool over here. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so we've got our, uh, our 10 con turrets still working away. But you can see that we are starting to idle out. And we're kind of running out of wind turbines, which means that we're going to have to start thinking about getting our metal from elsewhere so we're going to say goodbye to a construction bot as long as we've got one we'll be okay that's all we need we don't need that second one remember that this isn't uh, this isn't going to hurt us because we've got excess uh build power over the amount of metal that we've got we've got 70 build power compared to the 44 or 43 income depending on what what uh, time of day it is so we are going to eat a nano here and this nano it's, it's going to save us a little bit of time you can see right now we're sitting at it, it's like 40 seconds 30 seconds 40 seconds 30 seconds and you eat the nano and it's like okay now we've got you know 18 seconds 17 seconds uh we'll eat the energy storage as well but it basically just gives you a little bit more of a boost for that metal and very important to do if you do find that you're idling at the end last thing that we eat is the energy storage and then we'll come over and now start eating our fusion reactor uh so we're throwing down in advance our um our advanced energy converters as we do with the uh the glitters build and just making sure that we are at the same time throwing down as many construction turrets as we can afford that's the key thing as we can afford we don't want to we don't want to idle out here the worst thing you can do is is be making construction turrets and then idle them because they could be building the advanced energy converter so you want to avoid doing that and you can see we're getting pretty close now to that metal as well as space here so kind of kind of did myself dirty here and we're just focusing on building the first one because it, it will it will take some time for it to come up and then once the, the first one is done we start the second one so that there's no idle time no downtime and you can see we are beginning to eat our fusion reactor uh, and this is really important we want to start eating this as soon as we possible as soon as our aphis is up uh just because this is metal right this is 4300 metal that is just sitting there ready to be eaten uh so yeah you want to take it a uh, little bit of a mistake from for me there just not not finishing off that advanced energy converter before i add in the uh the the construction turrets uh, but you can see now we are front loading our construction turrets. So once again, we always want to go up to 30 construction turrets. I actually found on, on this map, you probably want to go for a little bit less just because you don't really have the metal uh, to support 30 even on that third APHIS. So maybe a number around like 28, maybe even 20, 27, 26, something around that is uh, is a little bit better. So with our fifth energy advanced energy converter coming on, um, we are now moving back into position here. Uh, to throw down our second APHIS. So not a bad little timing here. It's 13 minutes and we've finished our first round. I didn't actually see what the what the APHIS timing was. Normally I like to point that one out. Actually, I, I remember what it was because I, I posted it in, in Discord. 11.45 uh, uh, was the time. Uh, so now we've thrown down the metal storage. Very important. Always throw down your metal storage before your fusion reactor is about to get eaten because this bad boy is a lot of metal and you can't afford to hold all of this metal. It's that classic meme of the guy with the limes. It's the exact same thing. Uh, and now you can see we're starting to idle out on the metal. It's getting pretty low. Boom. And now all of that extra build power that we have, 24. So you can see we've got 155, more than double and a half, almost triple the build power uh, that we can afford to have here. Uh, we're, we're throwing it into this APHIS just simply because we're front loading it uh, and we're taking advantage of the fact that this is a lot of metal. We've got to try and spend it as quickly as we can. Uh, and here, I, I feel like I'm definitely throwing down too many nanos. This is definitely a mistake on my part. Probably, I, I feel like maybe about four too many. I, ideally, you want to get to the point where your APHIS is complete and you have zero metal in the bank. That, that, that to me, is like the, the ultimate goal 
of this and you can see that we're, we're going to be about 10 seconds away and now we start idling so this is me and I'm, I'm scrambling i'm like okay metal storage i forgot to eat you i can eat you that gives me a little bit of time what else have we got anything else around here and i'm like i'm, I'm looking i'm scrambling i'm like tell me what it is and i'm like you know what it's got to be the nanos the nanos have got to go but once again it's one of those things that's very easy to fix you've got all of this build power so you can really start to utilize it and you can see we're really struggling along uh, scrapping trying to get in but uh we, we don't actually end up eating the nanos at this stage i think we eat, eat them on our on on fusion number three even though we probably could have eaten them there um so my base building isn't the best i've got a whole bunch of nanos that aren't helping when they should be helping uh because ideally at these early stages you should be a hundred your nanos should be have a hundred percent uptime uh, but we are going to throw down our energy converters here once again making sure that we uh put put them all down and then get our old man moving on so we went we started off with five and we're going to finish up with a second five here and that's just to guarantee that we've always got that uh that income coming through and classic classic old man shenanigans right there blocking himself uh and we throw down the last energy converter and you can see that we, we've got they kind of uh what's the word they, they go between being active and not being active uh quite often uh now that we've finished with our reclaiming of the base we're going to move out our lazarus out onto the field and we begin work on our third fusion so not a bad little timing here that this is coming in um, now, I guess this is an important point to say that obviously we're, we're idle right now and it, and it looks good, right? It looks like, oh, he's 125 and he's making 124. That's not the case. These guys will lower the amount that they are using depending on how much metal you've got in the bank. So we've, we've got a lot more effective build power than this. So this is wasted build power, wasted metal. Uh, and th this is probably one of those things where it's just like, you know, I'm, I'm not going to go ahead and, and do another or play another example game here. I'm just going to tell you guys, don't make this many nanos. Go with like 26 or something if you're in this, in this position. Now, another thing to note is don't don't be like drongo and put your foot to the pedal until you, you're sitting at 300 kilometers an hour take your foot off the pedal a little bit earlier um if the game is not going well if the front is getting pushed in help them out help them out throw down your tier two uh your advanced bot lab and get out i don't know get out some um get out some uh, what are they called they're not called fidos they're called uh hounds get out some hounds and start rallying them down towards the front you know if if, if you're getting destroyed by air make sure you throw down your um your air turrets uh all, all those sorts of things but i mean realistically you can you can keep this going as long as everything's going all right if, if no one's losing particularly oh by the way anti nuke um you, you should probably ask your ally to anti nuke if he's not going to anti nuke you want to throw down an anti nuke uh, and on this map you want to do it pretty quick i would say after your fusion you want to throw down your anti-nuke so obviously this this is a little bit different because i'm playing against nobody i'm just demonstrating you know the power of a build order but in your real games you're probably gonna want to put down an anti-nuke pretty quick on this map as you will know there are some pretty quick nuke rushes that can happen that can hit so anyway uh we'll, we'll speed it up at this point just because there's there's nothing too much more to this it's just that that classic uh and keep in mind the, the the golden rule that i like to use is 10 nanos for every fusion so if you've got uh if you've got four aphis uh that's 40 nanos but if you're dropping down your fifth one uh so you would want to go up to 50 nanos uh at, at the beginning of that so normally you'd want to wait until after the advanced energy converters uh when you're at this point but early on you want to try and get the, the nanos down quickly just because it makes a, a really good dent in in the build time so I mean, realistically, that, that's pretty much it. Let's get to the 20-minute mark. I always like to use 20 minutes as my benchmarks uh, for, for my builds just to see how well they're going. I, I always get a good indicator uh, of that. And we can see now we're at uh, 1950, and we're going to start trans, uh, trans, transferring into air. You can see, actually see, I, uh, I, I will pause it right now. Even you know, Actually, you know what? We're, we'll pause it at 20 minutes. There we go. Uh, so I, I made a mistake here. And I know that that's rare, uh, but it's important to point it out. I made a hardened metal storage but I reclaimed my normal metal storage. And I was like, I, I put like 10 nanos on the hardened storage and like three nanos on re reclaiming the normal storage. And I was like, yeah, that'll be fine. It wasn't fine because the build cost for the hardened stor storage is so much greater. Uh, and so basically I've, I've lost 2.1K metal. And you might not think that that's a lot. And realistically at this point, it's not a huge amount, but it, it is the difference between this fusion power plant being ready right now and not being ready right now you can see the resources that we've got in the bank like we're using 330 metal uh whereas we've we're making 208 so that extra 2000 metal would be significant so really uh you're playing a dangerous game if you don't have storage especially metal storage so i would encourage you uh look to get a storage as early as you possibly can 
uh, a hardened storage. I, you know what? I'm not going to say as early as you possibly can, but like maybe after like the third or the fourth Aphis, it just gives you so much more of a buffer. Uh, but other than that, so it's going to be, I'm, I'm going to call it six Aphis at 20 minutes. It's uh, 73%, 10 seconds to go. Uh, and 2k, 2k metal in the bank. So I'll call it six Aphis. Not, not a bad amount, uh, considering this is a four metal extractor start and definitely a lot less metal than something like glitters. So I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, anyway, if you can spot any improvements, as always, if, or if you've got any questions, comments, criticisms, feedback, it is always welcome. So please leave it down below and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.